welcome back guys. Uh, first video did pretty decently, you know, 12 views on my channel is actually really high, I mean other than my, you know, guide videos typically. So, uh, uh, so we're right where we left off well before we made these choices. Drank too much, don't think I can hold it together today. Can we fire him? Like, I'm sure we can, but... Okay, don't hold that one. The roof of my house fell in. I need to fix it or else my girls will freeze. Can I have the day off? Why did you? Too much snow fall on and I didn't have time to clean it off. You know what, Mustard? You're a good cop. I'll give you this one. Maybe next time will be a no, but I'll give you this one. Okay? Everyone gets one. Except for Murray. Murray gets none because he's terrible. <sighs> Pinkin. Mr. Nash, yesterday I had a great trip to Ripton. Thanks for letting me go. The guitar specialist was a real master. Now our axes are roaring like true stadium masters. Unfortunately, our drummer Lenny lost his sticks during the trip. And these were special sticks, carved from Garensburg Black Oak. He made himself, you know, he made them himself. Can you imagine? No, I've never made drumsticks. Other than, like, maybe chicken, you know. Yum. Anyway, we need to go out into the woods, find the right kind of oak cut down, cut enough sticks that Lenny can throw them off the stage and not be all cheap about it. So you have to manage without me for now, but tomorrow I'll work a double shift, I promise. I, I feel like this guy doesn't exist. I feel like he's just like the joke around it. Alright, so Birch the Third is gonna be our main star. We got Aronovich and Musica, flower pots, uh, you know, the sexiest lady in the entire precinct. Ugh. I'm married in. Oh, auto sign. We have way too many. Okay. So this is this a pretty good? I'm gonna make sure that you get a baton now. Let's have a. Alright. I think it looks pretty good. Don't have a lot of cops. Oh. Some fancy cutscenes. 520 in progress. Public indecency. An elderly man wants to take a loan out to kill his wife. For 40 years of marriage, she's been nothing but boring. <laughs> you don't even care. You give loans out to bloodsuckers all day. He continued arguing with the bank clerk, and when the elderly man was finally denied credit, he made a scene and lowered his pants to teach a lesson to the corrupt banking system. Alright, well, sounds like a Murray case, if any. Um, we'll go ahead and... Oh man. Let's just get Murray out there. Flower pots, and... Can I earn a bitch? Fill it up. Can we get mustache in here? Alright. I can handle this. We're not gonna complete half the calls, let's be honest. Is there anything else we can do? Oh, what was that? What do I what do? I do? The old man's trousers down is up on the table, squatting and groaning. I was refused a loan as a regular customer, so I'm ready to make a special deposit. <laughs> Alright, uh... Married in? This, this is, this is all... You know, ironically, I think... I think this is flower pots, to be honest. 520 complete. Good job, flower pots. You're getting a raise. Aronovich, um, let's give you max intelligence, incredible awareness perk, flower pots, you know what, you probably gained some strength through that, taking them, you are star Vanessa flower pots, alright, good job, oh. Mr. Nash, out back behind the station, one of the snowdrifts started to melt in legs, so some half decayed course appeared. What are we supposed to do? Should we dig him out and search him, or call the guys from Morgan and let them do it? Better make up your mind before the corpse starts sinking. Uh, 
let's go ahead and take him out and search. So we got a shooting. Was there another call? No, oh, okay, they're just shooting. Alright, this looks like a... Do we... Don't have enough. Alright, we'll have to wait for... Uh... Mr. Nash, we searched the corpse. There's no idea, no cash, but we took off his boots and they're pretty well preserved. The squatty footwear for you. Okay. Got some valuables, you know where to keep them. You'll just have to leave them in the corridor until you find a better place to put them. Maybe you'll be lucky and no one will walk off with them. Okay. Ah, oh, thank goodness, okay. Alright, let's let's get our A-team out here. Birch Jr., Flower Pots, and... Get away with these two. Alright, Birch the third. Do me proud. Alright. Code I. The criminals already disappeared from the scene of the crime. A fuel conversation will be open. For this kind of job, a cop speed and accuracy are unlikely to help. You'll need employees with the brains. I believe Mustache has brains. No, who has uh Aaronovich and alright. Flower pots, you're on the case. Man. Burst the third is just finding out that Aaronovich is actually part of the Russian mob and it's all Where's this sh oh. There weren't any gunshots too loud <laughs> backfires from Mrs. Pierdot's neighbor mop mo mo oh moped. Mophead. Uh, he built one that runs on a mixture of alcohol and manure. Using <laughs> the price of diesel, I don't need it if <laughs> you've got to pay that much. Uh, sorry to waste your time, Birch. Birchy boy. Alright. We're almost through the day. Didn't miss any calls yet. 547 in progress. Production. Her baby along with her stroll was taken while she was picking up older son from kindergarten. I literally turned away for a second. I was helping kiss her put on a scarf and the stroll had disappeared. Alright, that sounds like a uh, birch and mustache. No, that's where you can get this exact. Let's take a break, birch. You're our A-team. Okay. Get Aronovich. Russian mob and mustache out. Oh wow, it looks like she's pushing the baby through. Uh, let's, uh, Aronovich. Uh, do we have speed? No. Let's try to outwit him. Rather than answer, the man just stroller and runs down. Uh, don't have shooting. Don't have speed. Drive. Drive after him. 547 complete. Well, you should have told me. Oh, well. I need some. 577 in progress. Legal sales. 290. Okay, selling homemade alcohol. Be careful with him. I think he's only pretending to be crippled. Alright, Birch, you take Murray. I'm just. You can handle on your own, Birch. I know you can do everything on your own, Birch, but, uh. We're sending Murray as a uh, precaution. Investigation. Interrogated some witnesses and prepared a preliminary report the secret of the pink chewing gum. Alright, you don't have enough information right now to reconstruct the sequence of events. Figure out who committed the crime in the morning. You can instruct any for subordinates to continue the investigation. Awesome. 
Alright. We will... Alright. We'll handle that later. Since the security, Mr. Nash, it's good that you guys got started working on my investigation so soon. The cops and Sharpwood aren't as bad as everyone says. I'm not a poor man, but someone steals something from your home, they steal the most valuable thing of all. Your sense of security. Today they took your video player, tomorrow they'll take your wife. Oh. By force, you know what I mean? I can't allow this, so I'm ready to do whatever it takes to bring them to justice. I have a small business for installing water supply systems in homes. In other words, we install toilets so homeowners don't have to do their business out doors sounds very familiar here's what I propose if you put your best people on this and solve the investigation then in return I'll install brand new toilets for all the cops in the area you can't imagine how careful the guys will be do you think they like to freeze their <coughs> off outside especially when it's late at night yeah I can imagine I think we're done for the night yep this is the last call Murray and Birch third they're gonna handle. Who wants some witch's moonshine? The old invalid is hawking his wares, shaking his crotch in the air. It will turn any cripple into a man, and people will gather around hoping for a taste. Uh, Birch, be careful. 577 complete. I know I could trust you, Birch. It's bomb. All right, let's give you uh, some speed. All right, let's pack it in for the night. Good job, Shift B. Although Birch the Third, you're you're part of the A team. You're just on Shift B just because you know we needed a good person on Shift B. You know, forget about the other guy whose daughters were almost crushed by a roof, you know. Alright, we only lost one suspect. Not bad, not bad. Two criminals arrested, and one escaped. Oh, uh, you know. Alright. Ooh. Mulligan? Do I get a mulligan if I accidentally buy him? Get it? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh. Can I sell stuff? Oh, he looks so cool. And he's so good. And I only have missing one tab. Alright. You know what? I. I um. Yeah. We'll go along with that. We need some extra cops. Alright, so tomorrow's shift. Uh, mustard, you're coming in. Craps and pants. You know what? You're on shift B. Um, Spurlock. Yep, yep. Everyone who's well rested. Okay, so I now I kind of understand how this is going. Okay, so that makes sense. So these two, and then these two, and then this and this. Okay. Gosh. I'm gonna I'm gonna shape you up, man. I'm gonna shape you up. Don't you worry. All right. Mr. Nash, could you come over here for a second? We need to talk. Dr. Kanaan just hold on, hold on. One second. Tip, what the hell? What are you trying to do? Don't you remember what happened to Vic? You want that thing to explode in your hands? You want to lose your fingers? Put it back right now. Until you get some new cartridges, no one touches the shotguns. We agree. Aw, oh, come on. I'm not going to shoot it. I just wanted to use it to scare old Kleiner. <laughs> want to see that stubborn idiot shit himself? Yeah, he's probably going around to diapers. You seen that fossil recently? You don't think... I... I'm not listening. Just put that thing back. Damn it, Lily. Stop acting like you're everybody's mother. I'll stop playing, mother, when you idiots stop acting like children. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a bundle. You won't be talking like that after I... What's your name, son? Tip Rami, sir. Why do you need a shotgun, Tip Rami? To frighten an old man named Herman Kleinert, sir. 
He's a local cobbler. The thing is, sir, the old man's grandson, Matthias Kleinert, recently raped a schoolteacher, and now no one knows where he is. I'm sure, sir, I mean everyone is sure, that old Kleinert is hiding his grandson somewhere. We tried talking to him, but it got us nowhere. To be honest, sir, the grumpy old maniac just stood in his door waving his gun, so talking just isn't going to work. Uh, I want to squeeze the old dirtbag, sir. Squeeze him good and get him to talk. Kleinert's gun shoots salt. Salt? That's right, sir. Salt. But what's the difference? I'm not saying he was going to shoot me. I just wanted to scare the old goat, you know? It's not like I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Probably. When you joined the sheriff's department, they gave you a gun, right? Of course, sir. But who's scared of a tiny little pea shooter? Everybody in Sharpwood has a gun. What else did they give you? I'm sorry, sir? When you entered service, what else did they give you? Uh, I was given... issued a uniform, sir. What else? Uh... a radio? And that's it? Uh... and a knife. This knife? That... that that's correct, sir. Big, huh? I... I... I guess so, sir. What do you think, son? Think you could scare somebody with your big knife? I don't... I don't know, sir. Well, think about it. Here you have a big, shiny piece of cold steel, nice and sharp, and you're holding it right to some bastard's neck. You bring it so close that one careless movement and you'll open an artery. But let's say you haven't lived such a clean life. You like to drink, so your hands are a little shaky. They shake all the time. If not today, then maybe tomorrow you'll slice someone open by accident. You think that's scary enough, son? Yes, yeah, yes, sir. It's very scary, sir. Well, then what do you need a shotgun for, son? I... I'll put it back, sir. I'll put it back right now. Well, what are you waiting for? I have work to do. Can I go? Yes, I just wanted to... Come to my office in the evening before you go home, okay? Okay. Nah, I'm totally not going to her office before I go home. I just purchased you. That sounds really wrong, but I did just use beer tabs to hire you, which I don't know why that's a currency. What? <laughs> Why did someone go, let's use beer tabs to... You're going to make 13 beer tabs today, son. Aw, oh, thanks, Pop. Alright, that's great. <sighs> Mr. Nash, yesterday we cut down such a huge oak tree that it could have made it across the Great Rift from edge to edge. Do you remember Lenny, the drummer from my band? So we made him a bunch of sticks from this oak, and in honor of the victory, he decided to try to play with the metronome for the first time, but after just a minute of playing, he had some kind of attack. He was shaking all over, and foam came out of his mouth, and we had to force one of the drumsticks between his jaws. So he didn't grind away his <coughs> teeth. Anyway, the guys drew lots, and, uh... The guys drew lots, and today is my day to sit with Lenny. What? We need him to get... We need him to uh, get better. The concert is at my cousin's. It's coming up. I know you don't mind, Mr. Nash, and tomorrow's definitely be on duty. I've already ironed my uniform. Is this guy a cop? A detective? Is like I don't even know who this guy is. Alright, well, we're down to five people. Okay. I think we can handle it. Auto sign. Is there any? That's good enough. Good enough. You can send your cops to collect additional information. Looking for new frames on suspects. Any cop can in, in, in an investigation will be unavailable for most of the day. Alright. Someone stole. Who's our intelligence? All right. Let's So 
so let's read this. Okay, deep under the shelf of the video player was someone has stuck a wad of pink chewing gum. Wires. The offender took the video recorder but left the wires that connected to the TV. Perhaps the thief was in a great hurry or simply didn't know what the wire, what wires he would need. Uh, Eric Elmer, son of the Hall numbers. Yeah, it was Tommy who stole it. I'm telling you, he's the poorest and greediest kid in our class. He doesn't even share his gum. He always claims his parents brought him... Bought him the coolest video player, but of course no one has seen it, so we were watching Bloody Shirt 4. And when we finished and everyone was going home, he sat down on the toilet, and when, while I was talking to the boys at the door, he had plenty of time to take that video player. He could fit my whole scooter into that huge backpack of his. Okay. I wasn't at home when the plumber came. I was with Barbara, our neighbor, helping her with the baby. If you ask me, it's a good thing that video player is gone. Eric was spending too much time in the, uh time in front of the street and I told him no more strangers in the house let John fix everything himself from now on who knows what'll what we'll get next it's not a thief it'll be a rapist well maybe you should go on Angie list hashtag ad not really no one's gonna pay me all right so the, the gum whether it's red herring or not we'll have to see um so we'll look into that, but let's... We we're not going to waste a lot of cops. I added some cool animations into this one. Right. Code I. Theft Courthouse. Alright. Belmont, it's up to you. 551 in progress. Attempted robbery. Bank of Sharpwood. An armed gunman with a stocking on his head was trying to rob a bank. The guard saw that the gun in the hand was only a toy and opened fire. The guy raced out to the street. Alright. Clumsy. Chase a toy guy. You got this, Clumsy. Here's our oldest gun. Hello. Is it Mr. Nash? I'm pretty sick here. Don't think... I can make it to work today. I'm calling for an urgent matter. Oh. I need to pick up some things from the laundry. I've got nothing clean at home. Not even a sheet. And the doctor said that I, that I can't lie in dirty, sweaty sheets. Or I'll never recover. Can you help me? Of course. I wouldn't ask you personally to go to the laundry for me. God forbid. My friend who's on shift right now, he could do it for me. Please just let him off work for a little while. So he can come out and help me, okay? Listen. No. You have no... Alright, I just hired you. No. No, you have no reason... No. Nope. No. This is literally... You missed your first day of work for this. It's just... We have no, like, camaraderie in between? Okay. Was stuck in his head. Uh, turn on the siren. Turn on the siren. Runs away in the... Cut him off. You got this. Yeah, clumsy. Pff, gonna forget that nickname of clumsy. Am I right? All right. Patrol car quickly pulled in front of the vehicle. He crashed into the car, fell off the bicycle, and was easy prey for the police. It turned out the guy wanted to get a hold of some money to buy himself a car. Well, he got free rides. Ha! <laughs> get it? All right. Go ahead and give you some intelligence, because we're lacking intelligence here. Hunter perk, okay. Yeah, this shift is very lacking. Assault. 405. Oh my goodness, okay. Large time was crossing the road, a green light, and almost got run over. A car filled with noisy teens skidded to a stop inches away from him. The man decided to teach the young driver the rules of the road and dragged him out of the car. Eleven in progress. Hit and run. Dark sedan ran over a boy who was running across the street and attempted to flee the scene. What is Large man was crossing almost car. Alright, we're gonna go to the hit and run, I'm sorry. It's not my fault that I don't, you know, the guy I hired didn't show up. 
Sorry. Sorry. It's gonna probably... No one can recall a suspect to see. That's... You know what? It's okay. It's beginning. Dark sedan with broken wheel has stopped abruptly on the roadside. It's impossible to make out anything through the tender window. Okay. Intelligence. Crabs and craps and pants. Watch a lot of girl exits. She needs to be crying. Alright. Use all the stuff. Yeah. Good job. Alright. Um, Spurlock. Alright, we're gonna give you some... Give you some negotiation. Alright. Public in indecency. Alright. Clumsy. You got this. Clumsy has this. It's fine. Clumsy's our old gun. You know, he, he likes to work alone, typically. Can I, like, zoom out? Look, I, mean, I can't even see up there. Is there, is there a way to, like, no? Okay. Harassment. Alright, man came to pick his son up from school, but instead started harassing a young history teacher. Alright. An old man with trousers on squatted in the, the hood of a manager's car, singing something to himself. Uh, you got some strength. I'm gonna restrain him. You got this, clumsy. Yeah. Cop managed to overpower and arrest a criminal. You turned out the old man wanted to take revenge on the factory manager, forcing him to retire. I think Clipsy could uh, possibly, you know, relate to that maybe in the future. I don't know. Maybe. Alright. Right. Nothing seems to be coming up. Look for new frames. You found one. You found one frame. The man has pushed the teacher back in the chalkboard and is reaching up under her skirt. Ooh, the girl's trying to push him away with one hand and is reaching for a point on the other. Uh, you got the strength. Cop manager of a and arrested criminal. He immediately <laughs> repented of his behavior. I've always been like this. I can't control myself. When I see a teacher, I just lose my head. And okay. Good job, craps and pants. Alright. We'll give you a boost to intelligence. Investigation. Prepared preliminary report for the mystery of the black box. Archive door. Alright. Got two open investigations. We'll do one more day. We got any really good one? French? That's way too expensive for that amount. Oh my gosh, Jacob's a steal. Yes, please. Alright, um. Uh. I think that's, that's good for now. Let's grab a shock or two. Yeah, Jacob was a steal. All right, tomorrow shift. Everyone that hasn't worked, you're working tomorrow as well. I don't care. You're working like 27 days in a row for all I care. Lashenska. 
All right. Um, give everyone else a break. Um, we don't need this many cops. You know what? Jacob, you're going to be on this shift. Okay. You know what? No, no. You're, you're, you're dead to me. Jacob, we're going to give you a shot tomorrow. All right. So, you want to talk? Yeah, I, um, well, before, before I, well, thanks for helping me this morning with Chip. Sometimes he just, anyway, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. It's very serious. I mean it, it's serious. As far as I understand, yesterday, you had some kind of, some kind of altercation with Charlie Fletcher. Dr. Canaan called me and well, Fletcher's going to be okay in a couple of days. It was nothing serious, but I don't want this happening again, all right? I can't promise you that. I... I don't understand. I said that I can't promise you that nothing like that will happen again. Listen, Jack, I don't like Fletcher either. It's but... not Fletcher. I will treat my subordinates as I see fit. That's what I mean. But, Jack... There are boundaries. I, as the sheriff, I draw those boundaries, okay? I respect your experience. I do, and I... I just want to say there are rules that must be respected, and I believe that these rules are an integral part. A part. You know, I believe we understood each other, and there won't be any more problems, right? Why am I here? I'm sorry? Why am I here? Well, because I, I, because I asked you to come and talk and I... No, no, not here in your office, but in general, here. What am I doing here? Why am I here, Lily? Because you... Because you got into a difficult situation and now... I'm helping you steer the department. Look, I could run. I might go to jail, but I'm here. Why am I here, Lily? We could call it a mutually beneficial deal because... Why, Lily? It's a simple question, and the answer is also simple. Why am I here? Jack, I don't know what you... Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Some bearded old man with fake documents strikes up a conversation with you, and suddenly he's... Jack, please, you know how much this... Becoming the sheriff's right hand. Actually doing all the work of the sheriff. How does that happen, Lily? Come on, tell me. Jack, I'm begging you. The answer is already in your head. I just want you to say it, Lily. Say it out loud. Why am I here? I'm begging you. Say it. Why am I here? Because I'm a shit cop, right? I'm a shit cop. I can't do anything. Shit cop, shit cop, shit cop. Without you here to help, it would be the end. You wanted me to say that. Is that what you wanted? Are you satisfied now? I'm very satisfied, Lily. <laughs> 